Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Hello and welcome to uh, Tackling Idea Statica Connection webinar series and its last part dedicated to BIM links. My name is Adam, I'm a product engineer with an Idea Statica and I'll guide you through today's webinar. We are running on platform go to webinar that means you are muted by default but feel free to ask any questions during the webinar in the questions panel that you can see probably on your right of your screen just type the questions in and my colleagues will um, write you back the answers and if we don't handle the amount during the webinar we will uh, answer the rest after via email. So about the webinar series Tackling Idea Statica Connection. It's a short series of five webinars that we run this summer through July and August. Um, it's focused on those of you that are not familiar with the program Connection and would like to learn the basics to start um, your work in this application and uh, after learning those basics uh, we strongly recommend uh, to you to go through our online course idea statica campus where uh, after getting through it you become a real expert and professional in a steel connection design using the software idea Sarika connection so as i said we are at the end of the series the last part all the previous parts are available for free of course on our web page or our youtube channel idea Sarika. so feel free to watch them as well as all the other webinars that we've done yet. So for today's topic, uh, the BIM links. Uh, you've probably heard about this term and uh, I'm proud to say that Idea Statica is one of the leading software producers uh, on this field of BIM links and uh, what it does or what it's supposed to do for um, uh, your workflows in Idea Statica. It connects your CAT drawing softwares such as Tecla Structures, uh, Revit, Advanced Steel, and or your finite element structural analysis software such as SAP 2000, CI Engineer, Global etc to Idea Statica software and it transfers uh, the data in purpose to uh, maximize the effectivity and the workflows so no more um, modeling and creating models uh, in Idea Statica from scratch but uh, comfortably just on one click import all the data and on other click just uh, calculate analyze and co-check and deliver the result results in the report so this is what we are uh, focusing on uh, in our development to bring you the most effective workflows uh, available so that's the motivation behind our BIM links and uh, now we provide you uh, a lot of tutorials for each of the software that we are connected to so you can just pick the one you are interested in and take a look go step by step i'll show you now how you can find this information so you go to our webpage, ideastatica.com, there on the panel, just click BIM links. Here, you've got some general information 
uh, some presentation part. If you scroll down, you can see the list of the softwares that we are linked to. So you can see there are many, and there are even more, uh, more of the local softwares uh, that uh, work only in uh, certain countries that we don't list here, but you can ask your local reseller about this. And uh, there's a high chance that the BIM, BIM link um, to Idea Statica was created by the producer of this software and the link exists and you can take advantage using it. So here on the list, you can just select the one you're interested in. So for example, the cross structures, here I can read some more information and what's the most uh, interesting here is that we've got links to the tutorials where you can go step by step following this tutorial and see how the BIM link works and learn by yourself uh, how to use it. This is actually the uh, content of today's webinar. So this is just for your info. The other way how to find these tutorials is that you go directly to the support and learning section here. You can click on BIM tutorials and you've got listed all the tutorials for all the software that we've got. All right, uh, so web page and support and learning section. Now, back to the presentation. You can also check for compatible versions. That means we are developing and releasing uh, two versions of Idea Sadika software every half a year, as well as the other, other producers. So uh, we keep the pace and uh, we suggest and recommend to you to uh, keep up to date with the latest versions of all the softwares. And to check about the versions um, compatible, you can also go to the support center and see it there. I'll show you in a second as well. Uh, possible limitations of the BIM link and some hints and troubleshooting as well. So let's see uh, if I go to the support and learning section and say BIM uh, compatibility. Uh, I can find the, uh, the articles here. And if I say rather BIM version, uh, I'm, uh, I can find here the article which shows me the tab. I can see for the current version of Idea Statica uh, what versions of the link softwares are uh, supported, right? Uh, next to that, about the limitations I was talking about, uh, you can see another article and read about if there's something you should be aware of or you should count with, such as holes, openings, and notches, importing from Tecla Structures to Idea Strica, and what you should do, special. And last but least, uh, if you have uh, some problem with the BIM link that is not working, there's also um, a few articles for troubleshooting 
and describing how you can help yourself quickly. And next to that, of course, you can always contact our technical support uh, to get help from us. Okay, uh, now for the installation of the BIM link, that is very easy since you install Iris Idea Statica on your computer, all the BIM links are automatically integrated in your uh, software that you have on your computer. Just for these two sub 2000 and ETAPs, you have to do uh, some more adjustment in, in this software because uh, it's not open for the automatic integration yet. So let me show you how you can see, check the status. If I open Idea Statica, go to the second beam and click on activate your beam link. I can see the list of uh, software installed on my computer uh, the, with the green status installed. If I install a new software on my computer after I have installed Idea Statica, I can simply uh, later on activate the BIM link just clicking on the icon and that's it. For the SAP 2000, there is a special uh, extra small job needed. You go to Tools, Add-ons, here you click Browse and you navigate to the installation folder of Idea Statica. And here you select the file SAP 2021 for the latest version. Rename the command, edit, and you've got it here to run. All described in the tutorial as well, of course. So, uh, I've got two more slides for this presentation um, to inform you that this BIM link I'm talking about with Idea Statica connection. For this, you need, of course, obviously, Idea Statica installed and licensed on your computer, and you can export from CAD softwares. That means you will export geometry, uh, cross sections of beams, all beams, of course, and all the design as well, meaning plates, welds, bolts, etc. On the other hand, if you export from finite elements structural analysis software, such as SAP 2000, you import obviously geometry, beams and its cross sections, and all the load combinations but you don't have the design in this case, of course. So this is done directly on a computer or uh, without any special needs. Um, on uh, what we um, offer extra is the free BIM link with our online viewer. We call it the viewer plugin. So you need just the small viewer plugin installed you don't have to install idea statica software on your computer at all so you don't need a license and this is completely free and this allows you to export from cat softwares only meaning geometry and design as i mentioned and you can uh, export a connection model a single file on your computer and this you can send to your colleagues or anybody else uh, who could do then the uh, analysis and code check somebody who uses idea statica software regularly and has it uh, on his or her computer so this is a uh, alternative workflow for detailers fabricators and so on all the draftments so you can take advantage of this inside of your company or with your partners now let's jump to the demo 
and see uh, what the BIM links are capable of. So I have a, a structure, a steel structure in sub 2000, this analytical model. I have just calculated it. I've got the results. I will switch the view to wireframe so we get a better view of what I'm selecting. I've got the uh, BIM link to Idea Statica already installed. So I can run it. So what I see here is that I'm starting a new uh, BIM link project. I can select the design code I want to work under uh, in the Idea Statica. I'll select the user code this time. And here I've got some commands on the uh, command bar. So the workflow goes like this. I go to the sub 2000 model. I select uh, a node and connected beams. And I click on the command connections. Now the data are transferred and loaded into this code check manager, Idea Statica application. I can select the imported nodes and beams and click finish if I'm not willing to, for example, change cross sections, etc., which I'm not willing to do because this is already well set in sub 2000. So I just click finish. It also automatically processes all the load combinations and import the resulting nodal internal forces into the connection model, as you will see in a second, while uh, the model opens. Here we have it. That's the corner joint, the node, and the three beams. We've got the geometry imported, and we've got three load combinations imported. You can see a description of the load combinations that is imported from sub 2000 as well. So you have uh, the information of what kind of uh, load combination is this. And you see the set of internal forces. Those are the resultant forces in the node. Right, so uh, what I have to do now is to Propose some design, so I'll do this quickly, just using the right-click dynamic templates. Let's see. Uh, I will switch here the stiffener and connect the other beam like this. And I can directly calculate all three load combinations on one click and read the results and uh, deliver the report. So, and save this. I've done with the uh, code check work. And here, if I close uh, the connection, I can see that the scene of Code Check Manager changed. It uh, loaded the um, 3D um, display of the connection and the results as well. Now, what I can do is that I don't have to go one by one, but I can also do the bulk selection. So if I select, for example, these three nodes, and click connection, I will import all three at once. So this is very easy and efficient. What I can do here more is that if I have, for example, this beam, which is this one as continuous, I can say merge me those two to become a continuous. You can take a look how it looks like in the connection window. 
And this is the way how we can um, efficiently export the nodes and connections that we are focused on. Okay, I will not work any further on this one. I just wanted to demonstrate this to you. Uh, one more thing I want to mention uh, is here you can see some of the commands. Obviously, open, reset, calculate, and delete the current item selected. Or you can also calculate all, which you would do after you would synchronize any changes. What does it mean? If I have a change on the sub 2000 model, for example, I unlock the model, I can change a cross section of a beam, right? I'm kind of optimizing the structure. I've got instruction from the uh, contractor or whoever. I change the cross section to in this case, recalculate the structure. And the trick is that I don't have to repeat all the exports and repeat uh, designing the connections, but I can take advantage, simply uh, synchronize all the changes. The changes means um, changes in cross sections, editing of uh, values of loads, and so on. It doesn't include if you add a new beam or if you add a new load case or whatever. This is the node synchronization, right? And you have to really um, repeat the export. So this works only for. Uh, modifications of the current state. So I have synchronized the, all the items of the model and let's see about the change. Instead of IP220, I should have HAP220. If I'm not wrong, and you can see this is here, as well as the end plate operation has adjusted its size to fit the HAP cross section. So I can directly just recalculate and uh, see about the results, uh, but I can do it from here as well. Calculate all the items that I synchronized or just calculate one. And uh, I don't have to open each um, connection item and save the time. So those are all the uh, brilliant options. You can um, boost your um, efficiency and workflows using the bimling with a structural analysis software. So that was for the SAP. Now I move on to a CAT software. I have a, the same model of the structure in Tecla. And uh, I'll show you how it works for the CAT softwares. So I've got uh, automatically added two commands into my Tecla ribbon, code check manager, and this is for the viewers, as I mentioned during the presentation. Okay. So again, I've chosen the Euro code and continued with the project. And here, this is very similar. Uh, I can um, choose between two commands, one in bulk, one obviously that would select uh, one node, 
Then I have to press spacebar. In the second step, oh, sorry, I pressed the, the wrong key on my keyboard. I would repeat and I will skip the one and rather select the bulk, which just is much easier. You just uh, select the uh, connection and the beams and the connection parts, just place bolts and welds, and then press spacebar on click uh, middle mouse button to confirm. Then Ideastatica asks you if you want to import missing welds. There are no missing welds. The connection is designed very well, so I don't have to do that. And the same way the connection is imported to the code check manager and I can open it from there. In this case, since I'm importing the data from uh, CAT software, I've got the geometry and design. As you can see in a second, right? And what I'm missing is the load effects. And now I have a few options how to add the load effects in here. Either I click on load to add a new um, load case and it inputs the values manually, or I can use import from Excel sheet. I have a prepared or exported the values of internal noble forces from another software and I can just copy paste it like this. Or there's a, a third way which is the most efficient in this case since I have the similar models in Tecla structures and in sub 2000 I can combine them and take advantage of that and that's the shortest and the best way how to do this and that's the connection import command in here. Here I navigate to the folder with my sub 2000 project where a subfolder was created by Ideastrica connection and I can find the uh, connection file and I have imported the three uh, load combinations if you remember them from the 10 minutes ago uh, demonstrations. And now I can just hit the calculate button. What I will do is I will turn off uh, some of the load effects so we, we don't have to wait for uh, the calculation of all of them. Obviously, it works the same as you have seen before. So now the analysis being done, uh, code check, and uh, you can see the result. I can save this again, go back, see uh, results uh, in the info tab in the code check manager, and I can continue my work again. I can use the box selection for selecting <clears throat> more connections on one click. You can see them added here. Of also, if I browse, sorry, I browse the the list in here. I get the connection highlighted in Tecla, so I can. Um, find it easily on the 3D model. All right. Of course, here in this case, 
the synchronization works the same way as before. So if I, for example, um, explode this component and do some changes, like delete these stiffeners and uh, delete some bolts, and I synchronize this item, I will see uh, both changes directly. So I can synchronize here one by one or all the items at once. It depends on uh, what I have modified on the 3D model, so I can save time synchronizing just one item instead of, for example, 20. Now let's see about the modified design. Now this is um, updated. You can see the bolt and stiffeners missing here as well. And I can again just recalculate. And in this case, one of the member is already overloaded since I removed the stiffeners. It's not strong enough. So I guess that it can force me about this as well. Okay, uh, that's pretty much about uh, the direct BIM link between your CAT and analysis softwares and Idea Statica connection and using the Code Check Manager application. Now, for the viewer, I'll show you that as well in a minute. That's the Second command here, since you install the Viewer plugin, which you can find if you go to Support and Learning, click on the third-party plugins. Here, you can see uh, and download the free plugins. It's just a small installation setup that adds the command into your Tecla. And this is this command, and if you run it, it opens the Viewer for Tecla Structures app. It has similar interface as Code Chip Manager. And again, I can say bulk selection and export me this part of the structure, all the connections in here. So now the data are processed. This is all happening on cloud, so you have to be connected to the internet in this case. And I can see uh, what was imported directly. So this corner was divided into two connections because this one is already too far from the node. And uh, what can I do here is that I can save the idea static file so let's see about that i'll save it to my desktop say test save it and if i navigate now to my desktop i can do whatever i like with the file i can send it to my colleague and he can then or she can then open it in his, his or her um, idea static connection. So this is um, one of the workflows. Yeah, I can work with that further on. Uh, the other function that the Weaver, Weaver has is that I can view the connection model in the internet browser, meaning I can study all its parts. 
I click on the plate here, for example, I can see about the material thickness and uh, basic drawings. And here I can also download the IdeaStudio file or download a 3D DVG file uh, of this connection model. What's advantage of this, of, of this view is that I don't have to send a file to my colleague as I shown you uh, just uh, a minute ago, but I can take advantage of uh, sending just the URL address. So if I, for example, open a different internet browser and paste the unique URL simulating um, your colleague sitting in another office in another city. He can then directly uh, see the model and click the IdeaStudica file would generate, download the file on his computer. All right, so that's, that was the last thing uh, of the demo uh, today. So let me jump back to uh, presentation to conclude this today's webinar and the whole series. One thing I want to mention at the end of this series is that if you followed all the five parts of it, we, of course, thank you for that. And you should be able to use Ideastatica Connection now and um, uh, benefit from all its features and capabilities. But if you want to advance and improve and become an expert and professional uh, using Ideastatica Connection for designing and co-checking steel connections. Um, take a look and sign in for the campus online course. It would take you about 30 hours. At the end, when you finish uh, the course, you will be certified so you can prove your uh, skills uh, to your possible employers, for example, and so on. But the best benefit is that you'll be a real expert in doing the job. Now, after this webinar, uh, please fill the short survey. You'll find a recording uh, of uh, what we've gone through today in our support center and YouTube channel. You can at any time, of course, get the free trial version on our web page. So feel free to get it. And uh, don't for forget about the support center or support learning, where you can find a lot of articles, webinars, theoretical backgrounds, uh, tips. Uh, you can find blog articles as well there. So everything uh, that you are interested in regarding IES Sariga. The last thing, uh, thank you for attending this or all the uh, tackling IES Tarika webinars. Uh, next to that, we have uh, done so far more than 100 webinars in the past years. All of them are recorded and stored in the support and learning part of our webpage, all for free or accessible anytime for you. Just type in any keyword you are interested in and it will filter you uh, the relevant webinars that you can watch. And of course, you can sign in uh, for the coming webinars that we are continuously um, broadcasting all for free. That was the last word from my side. Once again, thank you for attending this. Uh, thank you for using Idea Statica. I wish you a nice day and see you 
during some next webinars or events. Bye-bye.